Good to have you with us on a Sunday afternoon for basketball here on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, guys. Well, DeAndre Ayton's a defensive anchor in the middle. He talked about his ambition at the end of the floor, saying, I just want to be able to guard one through five. That's my goal. I'm going to show my opponent why he is not supposed to be on the same floor as me. Brian, plenty of confidence. <laughs> and the talent to deliver, Allie, for sure. Thank you. Well, the regular season marathon is about over. Next time we're on the air, Smitty, it'll be the playoffs. Awesome. Can't wait to do some playoff games. The atmosphere in the arena of an NBA playoff game, it's unmatched. So here's the Clippers starting group. The two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. Miles Bridges is out there with Ivica Zubac. And it's Wall in at the point guard. And for Phoenix... The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Crowder and Aiton, the bigs. And it's Lee in at the small forward position. So the Clippers win the tip. Now Wall in the game against Portland. Very impressive. Leonard for three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Love the focus Leonard has at the arc. He won't take shots he doesn't like. Pass to Lee. Back to Paul. Crowder outside. Shoots over Bridges. They get the rebound. And he buries his first look. I mean, come on. A seven-footer with a 7'5 seven wingspan. Aiden beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Now here's Leonard. Last game out, 36 points for him. Bridges passes to George. Zubats against Aiden. A nice shot by Zubats. Yeah, attack mode from the start. Exactly what you want coming into this game. Get your better scores, some easy looks, so they can start to establish themselves. Here's Booker. Last game with 30. Shot clock at five. Lee somehow scores the layup in traffic. Impressive. I mean, challenging at the rim against length. You just have to love the aggressiveness. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort, and he brings the energy. Now here's Wall. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. And stolen by Paul. Here's Booker. Cans it with nobody near him. Wonderful find by Paul. This offense relies on him to make those kind of plays. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both oh, ends. Well, this gives you some confidence when you drop three straight to start the game. Pass to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Yeah, looking at Aiden using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Did you see the game plan is working already. Four straight makes to start this one. Shooting one. Free throw drops for Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard, one of three perimeter players to win back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year awards. It's him, Sidney Moncrief, and a young Dennis Rodman. Now here's Paul. Right now he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Bridges against Crowder. Pass to Lee. Clock at four. And there's a three-second violation. And for his career, Kawhi Leonard has more steals than fouls, Greg. You know, B.A., he and Jimmy Butler, I believe, the only two players to achieve that after a decade in the league. A pretty remarkable achievement. Now here's Leonard. Give him eight. He's got it. 
four for four now. He's automatic. And for Leonard, it's not just the size. It's the skill level and his commitment to greatness. Booker, the pass to Aiden. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. It's going to be on even to Zubats. And when Aiton isn't playing basketball, either the live or video game version, he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. But probably his most famous sketch himself, dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. That free throw, no good. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiton is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. And the second free throw is good. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. Now here's George. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Here's Lee. Pass to Aiden. No one near him. Doesn't go that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season. You played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for L.A. The defense decides to gamble off him, and he cashes in. Pass to Leonard. Bridges against Crowder. Bridges, left side. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. And George with the basket on the assist by Bridges. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Ball with it. Check by Wall. Paul passes to Crowder. Outside Booker. Shoots over George. Kept alive. Outside Booker. The ball's knocked loose. Out of bounds. And that's out of bounds. LA it was ball. last touched by Booker. The Clippers have got six of eight shots to go. Wall against Paul. Phoenix grabs the miss. Home court didn't seem to help last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. And in their last game against this club, turnovers really were a problem for them. A combination of unforced errors and just poor decision making. They need to be much better in that aspect of the game this time around. Now here's George. He had 34 points in the win against Portland. And had a high number of steals. Just a ball oh, hawk, striking it. fear into the opponent. That makes him 5 for 5 so far. Could be a big night in store. Pass to Crowder. Fader on the way. After missing his first attempt, now 1 for 2. Typically, Jay Crowder doesn't take a lot of mid-range jumpers. But looking right at home on that one. Now Leonard. Here's Bridges. Over Crowder. And that one drops. Miles Bridges. We just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Pass to Booker. Now Aiden. He's guarded by Zubats. Back to Aiden. Clock at six. Booker for three. The rebound by Bridges. For Los Angeles, they've gone a fantastic 8 of 11 so far. Over to the wing. Wall, the pass to Bridges. And that one is hammered home! Can you 
say immediate entry into the highlight reel. Ooh, what a dunk, PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. Timeout, They've timeout. built up a lead, timeout. and they're starting to rub it in. Phoenix calls timeout. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game played. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. a completely new group for the Suns. And a look at the stats for Kawhi Leonard. Here's Sharich giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game to the middle. Here's Shamit. <laughs> So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. Let's look at the leaderboard and see which teams are making the most of their trips to the line in the second half of the season. Second, Phoenix. Ever since the break, they've been shooting with great confidence from the line, and their numbers reflect that. Shooting two. And he drops the first. With that type of range and confidence, Landry Shaman shooting is very important. He's off on the second. You know, thinking about the Clippers' history, those Lob City days really stand out, Smitty. Yes, B.A., one of the most fun eras in recent NBA history. Blake and DeAndre throwing down alley oops from CP3. That team had their own style, attitude. I love watching that Lob City group play. Yeah, that Marcus one's good. Morris, senior. And the Clippers lead by eight. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Here's Shaman. Eight points in his last time out. From seven, and the basket is good. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Powell outside. Kennard with it. Eight points in his last time out. Morris outside. And the Clippers hit again from deep. With a high basketball IQ and improving playmaking abilities, Luke's groin as a distributor. And here's Payne. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. He takes it in. Just five to shoot. And here's Sharich for three. Sinks it from distance. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Herter finds Morris. Outside Herter. Sharich with some nice D. The Suns trailing. Outside Johnson. Up top, Sharich, guarded by Morris. Sharich, the pass to Payne. Here's the second effort. 
And Sharich with the lay-in. Sharich has got five now. As usual, terrific effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. Powell passes to Batum. Kennard outside. Now here's Powell for three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Outstanding long-range shooting here early. They already have hit multiple shots from downtown. Pass to Sharon. Powell with a steal. And here they come. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Nice move by Norman Powell on the drive, drawing a foul and putting up the shot. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. You also have to commend them for their fearless attitude offensively. They've been productive when driving to the basket. And he makes a first. Norman Powell is a veteran in this league. He plays to his strengths and rarely tries to force things. And so Powell nails them both. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Payne against Herger. Up top, Sharich. Uncovered. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Coming off a win against the Blazers. Yeah, they were really able to keep their intensity high throughout the game. Never really saw them back off. A couple things stood out for me. They were relentless, and they also played under control. That's a deadly combination. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Payne, pass to Sharich. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on Morris. At the line for Phoenix, Dario Sharich. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Sharich. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Outside Herder. Pass to Kennard. Jacks up a three. Count it. One for one to start the game. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Outside Johnson. Ooh, it's stolen away. Here's Batum. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Can't be too physical with Nicholas Batum. That's a recipe for fouling him and sending him to the line. Taking two shots. The first free throw is good. You know, Nicholas Batum is kind of a classic glue guy. He does a little of everything and is always ready to step up and fill any gaps on the floor. And so he hits both. Phoenix has gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to Shaman. The three from Craig. He drops it from range. You need guys who are willing to make the next pass. Shaman doesn't rack up a lot of assists, but he's unselfish. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Here's Powell. The rebound by Shaman. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Outside Payne. The kick out to Johnson. There's the three. The shot comes out. 
And so it's Los Angeles with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why we're up back after this. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. You know, for most players, being a starter has value. But Grant, some elite teams have been elevated by great players who have accepted a reserve role. And it's really special, B.A., when you have that. Players who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Putting winning first at all costs. And you think about it, through the years, Manu Ginobili with the Spurs, Andre Guadala in Golden State, it really can galvanize a team and lead to winning championships. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Crowder and Aiden, the bigs. And it's Lee in at the three, small forward. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Back to Wall. Pass to Zubats. Leonard on the wing. Out to Bridges. Wide open. Yes, on the jumper. Bridges has got six. Great vision on that pass. Kawhi moving it to the open teammate. Aiden. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past, but he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and hoop and give it everything I've got. And guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Ali. Thank you. With only one game left, let's take a peek at how the final seedings could look in the West. You look at the Clippers. If the playoffs started today, they'd go in as the seventh seed. And check it out, Phoenix, only two spots back. When I look at the Clippers, I really think they've been hit and miss thus far. I mean, they are a playoff-level team, but are they championship-level? Probably not. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. Los Angeles has got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. And George with the basket on the assist by Leonard. George has got his second basket of the game. Excellent concentration from Paul George, overwhelming the aggressive defense with his strength and determination. Back to Booker. Six on the shot clock. Shoots. Unable to get that one. And the Clippers will come the other way. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And coming into the league, Kawhi Leonard was viewed as a raw prospect. A solid athlete and defender. But someone that needed to work on his jumper. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Ayton finds Booker. And the three-pointer goes. Booker. Booker's got five. Well, Smitty, there's no question Kawhi has put a lot of hours into developing his jump shot. And you see the results now. He's become one of the game's elite scorers because of the hard work he put in, even becoming lethal from outside the arc. Ball no good. Phoenix has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. The kick out to Paul. Aiden, no good. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. George for three. Gets the three ball to go. 
George has got five points now this quarter. The versatility of George, time out, time a out. terrific jump time shooter out. off the catch and off the bounce. Phoenix calls timeout. Few things get better as they age, especially in sports. Paul George is right up there with this all-around game. And now let's take a look at the small forwards with the highest shooting percentages for the season. Kawhi Leonard third. And this group does a great job of staying in attack mode. I mean, you have to be getting a lot of layups to have that kind of shooting percentage. And I don't think there's a player on that list who can't also light it up from the outside. Every one of those guys is a hot streak just waiting to happen. Connects from downtown. His second make from beyond the arc this quarter after hitting none in the first. Leonard outside. Pass to Bridges. The three ball. Clippers keep it alive. And he comes up with a bucket. Wall's got his first points of the game. The lift still there for Wall. Awesome to see him competing, especially when you remember that serious Achilles injury. Now here's Paul. 14 points for him last game against the Lakers. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Love his attack mentality. Never settling. Always keeping the pressure on. First team foul. At the line for Phoenix. Chris Paul. What's up? Shooting one. That's good from Paul. I love the effort level Chris Paul delivers day in and day out. He's been doing this for a while now, but he hasn't slowed down, not a bit. Now here's Wall. And there's the drive. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming out. First team foul. At the line for the Clippers, John Wall. Two shots. And that one falls for Wall. And after a series of major injuries, Wall still remains one of the more athletic players in this league. And so Wall nails them both. Phoenix has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Pass to Lee. Back to Booker. Plenty of space. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Booker's got eight here in this quarter. I really love seeing Booker score off the ball. He shows his understanding for spacing and when to put up a shot. Now here's Wall. Out to Leonard. The three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Here's Lee. Ball covering. George against Crowder. Can't hit that one. Ooh, nice D from George. Clippers foul. Paul George. Phoenix making some changes. 
Sharich comes in for Crowder. And it's Johnson in for Lee. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Morris, he's checked in for Zubats. Here's Booker. He's got 10. Pass to Sharich. And here's Paul. Shoots over Wall. Phoenix no good that time either. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Leonard for three. And again, no good by the Clippers. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Here's Booker. Takes the elbow jumper and drains it. Booker's got 12. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Pass to Leonard. Back to George. Shot clock at six. Out to Bridges. The three is up. No good. The Suns have gotten seven of 12 shots to go here in the second. Here's Sharich. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. Some changes for Phoenix. Craig's checked in for Ayton. And Payne is subbed in for Chris Paul. Second team foul. At the line for your Suns. Dario Sharich. One shot. What's up? Los Angeles has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Herter passes to George. Up top, Powell. Here's Herter. Sinks the tray. Herter's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Kevin Herter, a terrific catch-and-shoot player, both from a stationary position and coming off screens. Batum against Craig. Up top, Payne. Down to five on the shot clock. No luck on that one. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. Shooting for the Clippers. Norman Powell. One shot. for Powell. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Phoenix right, calls timeout. timeout. It's time to talk this over Started. and try to put a stop to this run. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. Ladies they need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. against Morris they get it back here's Craig Batum with the defensive effort the Clippers in the lead George with it picked up by Craig George no good 
For Phoenix, they've gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Shamit, no good. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Batum, pass to George. Here's Powell. It's good. Norman Set up beautifully Powell. by George. Powell's got five points now this quarter. <laughs> I just love the ball. Charge the pass to Johnson. Up top, Payne. They need this. Batum pulls it in. Batum's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now here's George. He's got seven. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Kennard comes in for George. Phoenix has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Pass to Shaman. Now Sharich. Craig with it. That shot off. Good work defensively by Leonard. Herter against Craig. Herter passes to Morris. And again, it's the Clippers converting. Nice look from Kevin. Intelligent and unselfish. Outside Johnson. Pass to Shaman. Top charge. Here's the three. On target from range. Charge has got six in the quarter. Aside from the rim runners in this league, most bigs are now asked to help stretch the floor. Here's Powell. Back to Kennard. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Pass to Herder. Minutes. Leonard, right side. Unloads from 13. Oh, great D that time from Craig. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Payne, the pass to Johnson. Here's Shamit, averaging around five points a game. Six to shoot, back to Johnson. From the arc. And the Suns get another three. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Pass to Herder. to Kennard. Fires the three. They get it back. And the layup is good Marcus off the Morris glass. Senior. Morris has got nine. <laughs> Their intensity has only picked up this quarter even while holding the lead. Johnson passes to Craig. Now here's Sharich. Guarded by Morris from 13. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. There's 48 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Leonard. It's Powell on the wing. Let's it fly. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's got three assists now in this one. Tight D not affecting Norman Powell. He squares up nicely and has good elevation on his shot. And that's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. Leonard against Craig. Leonard outside. From deep three-point range. That shot is off. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, place the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offer. Stay true to you, guys. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three.
second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Well, you look at Dario Sharic, what a contribution. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Checking out the group for Ty Lu to start the second half. The two-way threats of George and Leonard of the wing pair. Even to Zubats out there with Miles Bridges. And it's Wall in at the one. Pass to Lee. From downtown, he buries it from three. Lee's got five. Fantastic decision-making. Aiden electing to move it for the high-percentage look. Now Leonard. The three is up. Rebounded by Chris Paul. Here's Lee. Here's Aiton. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second personal It's going to be on Ivica Zubac. Got to be careful how you guard Aiton. He's so creative at finding ways to draw fouls. Taking two shots. First one falls, and the Suns making a change here. Crowder's checked in. Aiden hits them both. Los Angeles has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Here's Leonard. They grab their own miss. Here's Zubats. The shot, no good. A tremendous defensive effort. Saving a bucket right there. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Here's Lee. He's got five. Booker's shot is good. And this is what they depend on Booker to do. Such a versatile, confident score. The Clippers trail. George outside. Back to Wall. Leonard outside. Pass to Zubats. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Ayton. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. against Paul. Six on the shot clock. Here's Leonard. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speech at halftime. And so he draws the foul headed to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. Over the previous month, we look at the best when it comes to scoring. The fourth spot held by Devin Booker. And this last month has been truly special for him. He's scoring at will and in a rhythm on offense. That's good from Aiden. Both good from the line that time. The Clippers have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Nice game. Great performance by Devin Booker. This guy is killing you. And so far, I haven't seen a good adjustment defensively.
Clippers with the ball. Nothing yet for him here in the third quarter. It's Bridges on the wing, covered by Crowder. Bridges passes to Wall. Shoots over Paul. Ooh, he can't stop the run as that misses. Ah, scoreless in their first five attempts since halftime. It's getting ugly. Pass to Lee. Let's it go from deep. And Chris Paul with the three. Paul's got 11 points. Wow. <laughs> Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Leonard outside. Back to Wall. Fires for three. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got rebound number seven tonight. Fires it from 18. And it's Phoenix with another. Just crushing in here. 80% to start the half. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. To the inside, George. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And the focus Paul George has. Outstanding job finding a way to score on physical defense. One shot. That's good from George. And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Grant. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals. But without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. Outside Booker. Shot clock at six. Ball against Paul. Rebound by the Clippers. Leonard up top. He's got 13. Puts the fadeaway right on the money. 15 points in the game. Look at the handles by Kawhi Leonard. He has worked on that part of his game. He has his defender on skates. Pass to Booker from outside the arc. It's rebounded by Zubats. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Leonard finds some space. And he gets it to go off the front iron. And now it's just a two-point Phoenix lead. Here's Lee. Now Crowder. He's guarded by Bridges. Ball against Wall. Outside Paul. And again, it's the Suns missing. The Clippers have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Down low. Here's George. Yes! Some and the foul! Devin Booker. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. 30 play from George in the paint. Getting by the contact and to his finish. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Los Angeles. Something I've noticed is how aggressive they've been on driving the basketball. Time and time again, they've turned cracks in the defense into points. Yeah, and their team first approach is another thing you have to like. And they've had great ball movement and are getting a lot of points off assist. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. In my opinion, one of the most talented two-way players of this generation. Paul timeout, George timeout. has stayed humble timeout. throughout his success and has shown that he is willing to do whatever it takes to win. Phoenix calls timeout. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots, you have to want to make the effort.
ball against Paul. Here's Lee. Five points in the game. Clock at six. And play stops. That's a whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, turnovers can make the difference. Now Los Angeles with it. They've scored 10 straight. Pass to Zubats. Knocked away. In transition. Here come the Suns. Ball passes to Booker. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats has got five rebounds tonight. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. And the shot's good. Jay Crowder, not the biggest guy, but he's crafty in the painted area. Knows how to get his shot. Pass to George. Ball against Paul. And the foul on Chris Paul. Chris Paul. That's his first foul. Haynes checked in for Chris Paul. Morris, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Booker against George. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Pass to Lee. Back to Payne. Outside Booker. Five on the clock. From outside, off the mark. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Here's Morris. Yes, Marcus and it's Morris Leonard with the assist that time. Assist from Leonard's Kawhi got his fourth Leonard. assist in this one. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Booker, the pass to Payne. Takes the three. Drops in the three. Payne's got himself on the board with a three there. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Cameron Payne. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. You know, when you have a guy like Kawhi Leonard, so much of what you do goes through him. You trust him. You trust his abilities. Leonard drops them both. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Phoenix has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Payne, the pass to Sharich. Here's Shamit. Pow covers. Here's Shamit. Got it. Shamit's got five points. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Canard on the wing. Defended by Payne. Powell outside. Takes a three. And Craig pulls it down. The Suns have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Johnson finds charge. Craig with it. Inside. With the fadeaway. Rebound by the Clippers. Leonard's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Herter. And here's Kennard. Defended by Payne. Now here's Leonard. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. 
Kawhi Leonard will never shy away from carrying the offensive load. He can step up and do that for his team. Craig against Leonard. Pulls up. And Johnson gets it to go on the assist from Craig. Five points in the game. Los Angeles has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Powell passes to Leonard. Over Craig. Again, the Clippers oh, wow. score. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. Pass to Sharich. To the paint. And stolen by Leonard. Powell right side. To the middle. A oh, nice shot by Morris. Morris Sr. And now it's a four-point Clipper lead. He's lighting him up. Tough to strategize a comeback when you're being run over. A true utility player, Smitty. Marcus Morris brings a diverse skill set to the court. He does. Marcus is a hard-nosed, gritty defender who can play either four spot or even center at times. Plus, he's a reliable scorer and a solid three-point shooter. That one falls. A guy with Shaman's shooting ability can make anything work. The mid-range is almost too easy. Herter passes to Leonard. Back to Herter. The three. No good on the shot. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Pass to Shaman. And here's Payne. Johnson passes to Craig. And stolen by Leonard. With the seven-footer. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Shamit. Another three for Phoenix. If you're the D, you got to chase Shamit off the perimeter. He's too dangerous from outside the arc. Powell finds Herter. Leonard outside. From deep. And Kennard with the three. Kennard's got six. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Sharich, the pass to Johnson. Outside Payne. Let's a floater go. And he gets the bucket. Payne's got five points now in the quarter. Now that was a clever adjustment. I mean, that was a tough shot, especially given the height disadvantage. I love the way he created space for his shot. Here's Powell. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. 14 points for him. Off the catch, Norman Powell is quick to move the ball into his shot pocket. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The shot from 20 feet out. The shot by Payne, no good. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Leonard, left side. Offline with a baseline jumper. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for Los Angeles. Continued to rack up points in that quarter. His total for the night to 23. We'll be right back. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Crowder and eight in the bigs. Devin Booker out there with Landry Shamit. And it's Lee in at the three. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Back to George. Let's it fly from 18. And right on target. George has got 10 points here in the second half. 
so comfortable in pick and roll. Paul George is a top level ball handler who consistently makes the right play. Crowder outside, has to lead. And looks so like an foul. illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You have to be so smart with the ball in the first half, he's gotten a bit careless. The Clippers in the lead. Wall finds George. This one for three. The rebound by Shannon. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Lee misses. Great opportunity. Just couldn't complete the play. Yes, getting a little ahead of himself on that play. Outside wall. And it's Bridges with the jam. You can trust Wall to find those openings. He's a talented distributor who wouldn't miss that chance. Pass to Lee. Tipped away. Now Wall. Back to George. Powell passes to Bridges. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jay Crowder. That'll be a second foul of the game. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Suns. Coming onto the floor for your Suns, Chris Paul. Now Wall. That one's good for two. And the Clippers lead by eight. So physical for one. Wall has the size and skill to do work in the paint. Pass to Lee. Aiden with it. He's guarded by Zubox. Tipped. Wall with it. Powell outside. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Booker. Right side, Paul. Trying to get back on track. And he scores it. Now five of nine for the field. Defending Chris. This is where it gets frustrating. He finds a way to beat you. Back to Wall. Shoots over Paul. And there's Wall. That one's good. On the assist, assist from Powell. Good. Norman Powell's got his fourth assist in this one. Paul finds Booker. Here's Lee. And here's Aiden. Down low. Here's Booker. It's rebounded by Zubox. Zubox has got six rebounds in the game. Bridges down low. He's against Crowder. And the foul on Chris Paul. Chris Paul. That's foul number two Second for him. And we have to take Second another look foul. at that block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Bridges outside. Three-pointer. And give him another one. Miles He's six Bridges. of eight and looking solid. Great goal. floor awareness. Powell knows how to find his open teammates. Crowder right side. Back to Paul. Let's go with a three. Powell pulls it in. You know, he was looking for revenge. Trying to match shots from distance. George with it. Now guarded by Booker. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. At six foot eight, Paul George is a threat inside, looking very comfortable from in there. Shooting one. What's up? The Suns have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. 
Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Oh, man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. George outside. Pass to Zubats. Now here's Powell. Booker defending. Here's Wall. Beyond the arc. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. Now here's Paul. Crowder outside. Just five on the clock. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Miles Bridges. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. At the line for your sons, Jay Crowder. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. The contributions from Jay Crowder are extremely valuable because of his defense, toughness, and switchability. He's perfect from the line this time. And it's the Clippers ball. They're on a 14-6 run. George for three. Cash. He's oh, nine for 14 in the game. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. Here's Lee. Back to Booker. Three-pointer. And again, it's the Suns missing. Los Angeles has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. George outside. Back to Wall. Five to shoot. Back to George. There's the triple. It's hauled in by the Suns. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Ball against Bridges. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Smart move by Chris Paul. Shooting right into the defender to win a trip to the line. Chris Paul taking two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. And he knocks down the first one. Good on both. So it's the Clippers now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Back to Wall. Bridges against Crowder. Bridges down low. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Outside wall. Here's Zubats. And good. Coming on the assist by Wall. Wall's got his fourth assist in this one. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Wall finds Booker. Back to Paul. Here's Lee. George defending. Knocked loose. Just four to shoot. 
ahead. Here's Crowder from the arc. Another three for Phoenix. And this has been Crowder's role for a while now. Often shoots more three-pointers than two-pointers. The Clippers call timeout. This is what you've been waiting for. Now show some support and get loud. Phoenix, get on your feet and give a warm welcome to you. the New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. When you look at the stats from this game, truly, it was his from the start. His scoring's been great, but he's done so many other things on the court as well. Wow, I'm just so impressed with his continued play for his ball club. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. They just got to continue to play together, and we'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie Phoenix. LaForce. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He implored his team to fight until the end. He said, quote, we might be up now, but we can't give the ball away. Don't let your guard down until the clock hits zero. Back to you. Thank you for that, Allie. George outside. Lays it up and banks it in. George has got 18 points now here in the second half. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Ball passes to Booker. Here's Lee. He's guarded by Zubats. Counting good. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Powell outside. Kicks it to George. Back to Wall. Just five to shoot. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. And he finally gets involved from beyond the arc. His first three of the game comes here in the second quarter. Outside Booker. Pass to Aiden. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. Here's Bridges. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It goes on Chris Paul. The 12th overall pick back in 2018. Miles Bridges was part of a loaded lottery. Guys like Luca, Trey Young, SGA, also part of that class. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Bridges. And Grant, looking at the 18 lottery, they are the future of this league. Yes, they are. I mean, obviously, we've seen Trey and Luca play at an MVP level. Other stars like DeAndre Ayton, Triple J, SGA, really just a special group. Leonard's checked in for Powell. Bridges hits them both. The Suns have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Pass to Aiden. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. So impressed with that bucket by Aiden. 
fantastic body control from the big man. Wall finds Zubats. George outside. Now here's Wall. Leonard outside. Pass to George. Five on the clock. Over Booker. Phoenix grabs the miss. Hayton's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Booker's foul. John Wall. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Phoenix. Chris Paul. Two shots. Two. Two. That's good from Paul. Paul hits them both. Los Angeles has gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. Now here's Leonard, guarded closely. Pass to Bridges. And no good. Good work defensively by Crowder. Here's Lee. Two minutes remaining in the game. Paul with it. Checked by Wall. And the foul on Chris Paul. That'll be foul number five on him. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Well, Los Angeles shooting the rock at 58%. Leonard against Crowder. Leonard passes to Bridges. George against Booker. Back to Bridges. Let's the three fly. Crowder grabs the miss. Phoenix has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Paul. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Defensive foul. Evita Zubac. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for Phoenix. Chris Paul. At the line for one. And the free throw, no good. The Clippers in the lead. George outside. Back to Wall. Pass to Bridges. Let's it go. Can't nail the jumper. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. Paul for three. And it's Wall with the block. Oh, nicely timed by Wall. Just so gifted with tremendous length at his position. George outside. Stolen by Ayton. Paul with it. Guarded now by George. Pass to Lee. Ayton with it. Inside. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Defensive oh, foul. A high-volume score Second with just too many foul. moves to count. Booker foul. is so dependable under At pressure. the line for Phoenix, Devin Booker. Shooting one. Booker, no good on the free throw. And now we've got an intentional foul. Jay Crowder, third personal foul. Team is in the penalty. Shooting for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard, two shots. The first one drops, and that makes it a seven point lead. Okay. 
So he gets them both. And it's an eight-point ball game. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. They're behind by eight. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth. That's right, Southern man. Time to make some noise for you. So, Dancer. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the fourth. Step back and fire. Nice shot by George. George. And the Clippers lead by 10. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Outside wall. So no problem for the Clippers as they get the win. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks so much. I'm here now with John Wall. John, you guys were scoring really well tonight. What was the key to unlocking your offense? Well, with us, I do a great job of me just attacking, trying to get into the paint. I'm trying to find my teammates to let these guys knock down shots. And I've did a great job of just closing out the game. You knew to be the aggressor tonight. Thanks, John. All right, Allie, thank you. That's it, folks. The NBA regular season is in the books. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.